Hey YouTube land, uh, this is my review of my new to me 2013 Specialized LA Comp MIG Compact. Um, I've had it for about a month now. Uh, since it was a 2013 model, I got a pretty good deal on it. They were trying to close them out. I uh, went in actually specifically looking for a 2014 Specialized LA Elite. Um, or I was also interested in the 2014 Specialized Sector, uh, I believe it was a sport disc. Uh, so my price point was right around $1,300. Uh, and um, when I went in, expecting to be fitted for a 61 centimeter frame, they actually, at six foot three, they actually uh, put me on a 58 that this one was there. Um, and it feels awesome, perfectly sized for me. I love it. Um, so I thought I'd just point out a couple features of the bike that make it different than what I had before. My previous bike was a uh, 2006 Trek 1000 uh, entry level bike. This one, uh, they basically described this as a maybe a mid-level. Definitely not expert, but a little better than, um, than entry level. Some of the components on it, you got the 105 component, uh, the uh, 105 derailleur in the back, Tiagra uh, front derailleur, which is fine. You got the uh, axis, uh, axis brake set, um, and you got the 105 shifters up front. Uh, it has the carbon fork, if you can see the carbon on that. Love the paint scheme, has the 105, uh, FSA, uh, I think it's a Gossamer crank. I uh, picked up these new Shimano pedals to go with it, the SPDs. Um, some of the stuff I already upgraded. I put my Uno carbon uh, composite seat post on it. And uh, I had my Nuvation uh, M28 Arrows with the uh, Continental tires from my Trek put on it to replace the um, DT Swiss uh, wheels that came on this. Although they're pretty good wheels, they're definitely heavier than the Nuvations and uh, I just love this wheel set when I got it on the Trek so I wanted to uh, put it on this bike too. And so uh, should be right now should be just a hair under 20 pounds maybe 19. I think it measured right at 20 with the stock wheels so it should actually be more like 19. Uh, some of the features I really love about this bike, the frame, awesome. Even with the not-so-great DT Swiss wheels, or I should say not as good as the Nuvations, uh, it soaked up the bumps really nice. I love the taller head tube, um, which allows me to ride in the dropouts a lot more than I did with the Trek. Uh, I love the paint scheme of the bike. Uh, the colors look great. Um, really just nice details to it. And uh, I, put, I put 95 miles on in the first uh, week and a half of riding. Uh, the first week it rained the entire time I had it, so I couldn't really ride it then. And then I just actually got back from a hiking trip, so I haven't been able to ride it since then. But uh, the time, the 95 miles I have put on it, I've absolutely loved it. I'd highly recommend this for anyone that's looking for a fast bike, but comfortable. I mean, this thing, I used to only do 13 mile rides. I've already upped it to 25 since it's so much more comfortable than my other bike. It, like I said, it's uh, great road absorbing qualities and uh, it's light, but it still has a pretty nice relaxed ergonomic um, geometry to it because of the taller head tube. Um, so this is a 58 and you can see, you can imagine the 61 is even taller. Uh, is an even taller head tube than this one. This one's pretty good size. So that's my review. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I really love this bike. It inspires me to go out and ride more. Um, the only thing that I might change in the near future is the seat. Not a huge fan of it. Um, so I might go with maybe a little better quality seat. Uh, the the cons. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the you know the white, the white bar tape gets dirty. <laughs> really kind of a tiny trade-off for it looking cool. So um, otherwise there's been no cons to this. It's been awesome and uh, I hope to put tons and tons of miles on this bike and and uh, really feel like it was a great up upgrade for the amount of uh, money I put into it. So if anyone's on the fence about the Specialized I'd say go for it. Um, this is probably equivalent to the uh, the current Smart Weld um, as far as components go. 
Actually, this one might even be a little better with the 105s. So you could still get the smart weld. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm sold on the whole smart weld technology, but um, either way, I'm, I'm definitely sold on, on Specialized now that I have one. I absolutely love it. I don't think I would go back to any other bike brand for road bikes uh, now that I have one. So hope you enjoy the review and uh, enjoy riding.